Last episode of the season, me and the boys thought we'd go up to Whistler and just reminisce the last couple seasons and go ride the park. Ride, Valiant, ride. They got me on the run. Ride, Valiant, ride into the setting sun. There's a man with a badge who would like to shoot me dead. And the bounty hunters know there's a price upon my head. Me and the boys just kind of lived it up in Whistler for a bit. It's been a while since I've been, you know, back in my hometown. Oh, they're doing some work on the bike and bean. You guys remember that tool rack last year? That thing sucked. Yeah, mechanic's worst nightmare. Who the hell is the eight mil? Brandon, what's going on, buddy? Looking for the eight mil. Dude, well, you need an eight mil. There's one right here. Oh, no, it's, it's not. Uh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm afraid not. <laughs> really sorry. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Pull that out. <laughs> Bob, I don't know about you guys. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to get one on. Turn it down here. Oh! session this jump on A-line. They built this new jump at the very bottom, and it's just like got this huge, super long lip, lots of speed into it. Me and our dog just wanted to session some whips, and Axel wanted to get in there all tight and get the slow-mo going. He's such an insane cameraman, just like getting the most insane shots. Sketchy enough for you, Axe? Oh, this is great. Old school. Skate style. up on his slow-mo. It's like crack for filmers, just getting that super tight, slow shot. So sometimes it can get a little excessive, the slow-mo, that's for sure. I know this one time in Utah, we rode this ridge and he shot it at like the most high speed frame rate he could. That whole ridge could take up an entire Lifetime Bars episode. Bone pit sesh, what are you feeling, bud? Anything but a gainer off that drop, that's for <laughs> sure. Whenever we go somewhere, Goldman, like mandatory gainer into the water. I'm like, can't do that. So I tried it, and it didn't go good at all. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh. Oh. Ah. oh my god. Oh, that was kind of sketchy. Oh, my helmet is down here. You got hurt, Josh. Where did your helmet? What the hell? Did you take it off right there? <laughs> yeah. It was around my neck, man. I was kind of panicking. Ugh. This is the biggest bomb hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Found it. Cork nose press. <laughs> Oh, 
The boys and I got lucky. We got to go ride top of the world. It's been a while since I've got to do that, so super fun, like 6,000 feet vert, just shredding all the way down right to the bottom of the lift. Our baseball careers didn't really go too far. in Velocity. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. woo <laughs> What's up? Ah, fighting back. Top of the world, boys. What? Yeah, after a long day of shredding with the boys, we decided just to cruise out and hit the lake. Whistler has like awesome little docks and lakes everywhere, so you know, just put some board shorts on and rode our bikes out to the lake and just kind of ended the day that way. The folky being Whistler are pretty cool. We rolled up on the dock and there was just a crew of guys there. One guy just cannonballed us, the other guy was doing like barefoot kickflips on his skateboard on the dock. And no nah, man, like people are so cool and everyone's everyone's just psyched on living the life out there. Oh just hitting top of the world. So sick. So stoked they got a trap on the top now. Yeah, it's epic descents in the last year. Like Zink's line. I wish you guys saw his full shoot line. It was the gnarliest thing. Like he even thought it was the gnarliest thing he's ever ridden. Like well, Zink says that, it's gotta be true. Yeah, Zink says it's Because Zink the is the gnarliest dude. The gnarliest thing world. ever. Yeah. clips we didn't get to see from Utah? Like you missed McCall's no-hander over that big like 60 footer. In the last two seasons there's lots of time spent on the bikes but we did get to go out and explore. We got the motos out. Our buddy Roscoe took me and Aggie on a pretty fun ride that you guys never got to see. Oh that's sick. I grew up riding moto, I haven't done it in a few years now, so it's good to get back, uh, kind of brush the cobwebs off and scare myself a bit. Get back up, do that. Good crew. Had a blast. 
Well, shooting Life Beyond Bars, there's lots of stuff that just doesn't quite make it off the cutting room floor. Or it doesn't quite fit into the episode. So, you know, we're going to take you through, like, all these moments that you've missed that were great memories for me and the boys. special effects expert or anything, but we'll just say yeah. <laughs> Tell me what do you think about being a special effects guy? It sucks. <laughs> I heard a bunch of talk about this thing that Adam called Mingus. They had this pretty sick jump into this full 180 corner that's got to be like a 50 foot radius. What do you call it? Mingus. Jazz musician. Because it's got the curve like a flugel horn or what? <laughs> that was just on the, on the iPod when we were building. Put like six days into it. I've always wanted to have a berm that came, came back uphill. It's definitely the biggest, biggest berm I've ever built by hand. When they hit the apexes, how many pounds of force are like yeah. going in there? Well, you can totally build a trail with like sensors and <laughs> A science trail. Will you get a digital printout at the end of all your science? Yeah, they're both scared to no break it, which is understandable. Cornering for forever right here, and right here, I st you still can't see the lift or the takeoff. You feel like you're going fast in that corner, and it's just such a big berm. You it took like 10 tries to realize how fast you could go into it. and You couldn't slide, you just kind of like G'd out and, uh, and took pressure. Oh God. That was dangerous. I almost pedal slid the bank into the corner. <laughs> Him and Stevie had a lot of fun riding it, I think. Brandon, thanks for the good year. Boys. Yeah, good yeah. season, thanks, bud. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, buddy. Creating Life Brian Bars season two and three, we basically did it all in one year, along with the movie, Rad Company. It was one of the craziest years of my life. I just want to thank everybody that watched and uh, got to enjoy it.